Hello there, welcome to episode 83 of The Daily Shed. Today I'm going to be talking about um, your beginning, beginning, beginning finger style. One key thing to learn is uh, separating your melody and your accompaniment. Uh, you're playing both at the same time. You want the melody to really come out while keeping the accompaniment really solid. So I'm going to show you um, a cool melody and accompaniment that's only on two strings. You're only going to be using the G string and the B string. And the, uh, the riff is uh, Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. If you haven't heard it, uh, give it a listen, because uh, the riff is um, a really indelible part of the song. So the first thing you want to do is uh, use your thumb. Uh, you could use your index also, but I'm going to suggest using your thumb. And you're just going to be playing this regular, just this regular beat like that. And the melody is above that like this. I'll slow down. keeping that thumb going, even though the melody itself has some syncopation in it, uh, you know, it weaves in and out of, um, of this steady beat, but you want to keep that going really regularly, and then play the melody, and I'll play the melody really slow, it's just, I'm using my index finger, so open string to the first fret, open string to third fret, to eighth fret, to seventh fret, that's it. Combined with the steady bass note here, that G. Yeah, that's that's all there is to it. And as you're practicing, just try to get it where it's very, very even, where the rhythm is correct uh, for the melody, and the melody really sits on top of that accompaniment. You want to hear both. When you, you, want, you want the melody to have the lead, so, so you want to play it just a little bit louder. Here how you can definitely hear that melody, even though the bass, uh, the bass note, your G note, is still there underneath. And you can also do this with your index and middle fingers. Use your index to do the, to, on the G string, and your middle finger on the melody note. useful, uh, please let me know any comments or questions you might have, and uh, thanks for watching.